What's your name, bro? Elliot, mate. Elliot, good to meet you, Elliot. So, I'm sitting out here in the middle of the street with this sign. It says, yeah. live auctions are the slave trade. Yeah. Prove me wrong. Can you prove me wrong? I cannot prove you wrong. I agree with you to a certain extent. I believe that slavery is a relative term, which we've adopted to treatment of other humans. Yeah. But I do, in the, in the way that the, the word is meant, it is slavery. However, I understand that the treatment of animals, like, it's completely not right. Yeah. However, I don't feel it's slavery as okay. they don't have rights. Okay. But then again, slaves in the past didn't have rights, they were treated as animals. So in one sense, yeah. Yeah, well, you kind of, you kind of talked yourself around <laughs> that there. <laughs> yeah. So w the way I judge whether or not something is slavery or murder is I just put humans in place of the animals and then what happens? Uh, yeah, no, then it is. But then again, I don't think you can put humans in place of animals. Okay. Humans and animals are worlds apart. Certain animals, for example, like less emotional animals so pigs obviously pigs are one of the animals that are treated some of the worst okay. in the factories and stuff and that is that's disgusting how they're treated okay they're tortured basically yeah. in the factories what what separates us what is the the difference like what is the characteristic about animals that is diff so different to us what is it about them that exempts them from being slaves um it is that they are as in, so if we were less evolved and we were hunter, we weren't we weren't farming people as we were. If we were hunter gatherers, animal we would be a predator and animals would be our prey. Farming animals is different, obviously, because it's just collecting huge numbers of well prey, so to speak. So you have to look at it that way. So you're you're talking about a survival situation back then. Um, I'm talking about right now. Animal agriculture, as it stands, taking animals' rights away, treating them as property, killing them, selling them off in live auctions. You don't think that that's slavery because there's something about animals that's different to humans. What is it? Uh, we, they're different species. We, cla okay. we classify animals as different. Okay. As in, we classified slaves in the old days as a different species. So we separate ourselves. Wow. It's not the same, obviously, now. Yeah. And I would say, I wouldn't say so that. So species is the difference? Uh, yeah, I would say so. It's a, it's a whole culture. They don't understand what's happening to them. They only understand what, what happens. They don't have any. These are two different things now. You're saying they don't understand what happens to them and species. If someone, if there was a group of, you know, human beings from another planet and they came, they were a different yeah. species. They enslaved us. That wouldn't then be slavery because they're a different. We are a different species to them. Uh, that is a very good point. It's a uh, hypothetical, I'm just yeah, yeah, no, no, seeing if you're logically you're consistent with your argument. That's all. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Well, I would say it depends on the intelligence of the people. Okay, if we were, if we were there, yeah. if we were there... Well, what, we're vastly talking? less intelligent. So let's just say the same gap of intelligence yep. from us to these aliens as yep. it is from us to animals. Yep. So we're vastly less intelligent than these, uh, say, alien species that come down. Well, then we would probably be farmed and killed. And that wouldn't be slavery. Oh no, that would. Yeah, 100%. Okay, well, that, well, why isn't it slavery with animals if you're talking intelligence, then you're talking species? Those two things are both thrown into the mix. So a vastly in more intelligent, uh, different species to us come down, enslave us. That wouldn't be slavery because they're highly intelligent and a different species. Well, to them, it might not be slavery, but to us, as everything is relative... They Look at it from the view of the victim. From the view of the victim, we would see it as slavery, okay. but we... How do the animals see it? Uh, I don't know, I haven't asked them. Okay. But, uh, we How do you reckon they feel about having no liberty? Oh yeah, no, it's horrible. Yeah. They, they. Do you think they enjoy being treated as pro property and walked into a slaughterhouse? No. Well, uh, some animals, as in very stupid animals such as chickens and stuff, they don't know what's happening. But more, more evolved animals like pigs. You chicken. don't think chickens know what's happening? Sorry, I have to press you on that. Do you yeah, know much no, about yeah. bird intelligence? Uh, not as much as you probably. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. I just know that certain I want to tell you a fact about uh, chickens. When they hatch, yep. they go to this place, it's a hatchery, and they separate males and females, yeah. and the males will be minced up in a macerator because they don't produce eggs. But it's been proven scientifically that uh, upon hatching, these birds can recognise their siblings. Oh, right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, that is... So if you knew more about chicken intelligence, would you still think that they were... You know, just would you look at a chicken and just think that's just a walking pit, bit of meat? Um, 
Well, depends, because we classify animals so differently into pets, food, like animals, obviously you have like petting farms, stuff like that. We wouldn't classify them as necessarily pets or food. They're just kind of there to be there. For you, would you say that is slavery, having animals in petting zoos? Okay, well, I would say, are they being exploited? Uh, yeah, to yeah. an extent. I would say that that's slavery then. They're being exploited for profit and they're, they're treated as property. And I think those petting zoos actually kill the pigs afterwards when they, yeah. you know. But, but if they're being exploited in a sanctuary though, when they're yeah. being guardians of the animals and looking yeah. after them, yeah. treating them like you would treat you know, children that you adopted. Yeah, yeah. I think that that's not slavery. I think that's just guardianship. No, although you say, um, you were just saying about her being exploited for money. Millions and millions of people are exploited all across the world. Yeah, Would you are. say that is slavery? In well, if it, if it is slavery and they're not being paid, then yeah, I'd yeah. say that's slavery. Well, there's being paid and there's being paid. If they're making so little money that they can barely afford to live and they are forced to do this job or this task, so, say, thousands of women... Are Forced by a circumstance, you mean? Oh, yeah. Forced yeah. by their circumstance yeah. to work they, a cheap job? They, they, have no, they have no other alternative. So, it's okay. do this so they're working the best job available to them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, would you say... So, what's the alternative to working the best job available to you? Well, there isn't. Okay. But they are forced into that. They, they might be... They've got no other choice. Or they die. Okay, but are you, are you causing that to happen to these people by virtue of your uh, purchases? Yeah, it's just mass consumer capitalism, which causes, forces people into circumstances which are so beyond... So are you paying for slavery on a daily basis like you are with animals? Oh yeah, 100%. You are? All the things we buy, our shoes, our clothes... You think everything's made by slaves? Um, you know what slavery is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I think it's more slavery of circumstance and the definition of slavery. Having a low paying job is different to slavery, no, you know? I'm, that? I'm speaking about so sweatshop workers, yeah. all that. I don't believe that they are treated well you've heard stories they're chained up i would say that's modern day slavery it's if they're chained up i don't know if they're being paid are they that's actual slavery uh that's i'm not sure about that so you'd have to talk about the circumstance and then i can analyze it and tell you if it is or isn't slavery but with animals yeah. in the dairy industry for instance oh, yeah. they're being bred into existence used for profit milked yeah. having their children stolen from them then murdered for their bodies and sold as hamburgers that's objectively murder and slavery no yeah yeah no 100 percent. do you agree with me this is slavery then i do agree that it's slavery although i do love meat <laughs> i'm a meat eater mm. and i know this wrong 100 percent. yeah you know i'm gonna say a few things about that i love meat thing because when you look at someone who because you know loving meat is the taste yeah you love yeah, the taste yeah, yeah. yeah so it's pleasure response yeah yeah so sensory pleasure yeah so in what other contexts do people gain sensory pleasure from a victim that is harmed? Um, boxing, sports. Well, that's a mutual agreement. I'm talking about where there's a, a, an oppressor and a victim. Um, we could talk about rape. We could. Yeah. So he gains a, a, a sensory response pleasure from another person's... Yeah, but however, I think comparing eating meat I know it's. Well, I'm, not, I'm talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. the act and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the response. So it's just like I get a pleasure response from beating a dog because yeah, I'm a yeah, sicko. No. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. No, it's on on the sensory level. It's the same thing. So you're gaining pleasure from someone else's demise and torture and slavery and you know. Yeah, but it's not. You're not gaining it from someone's. We classify it as gaining it from some things. So you agree that animals can be slaves, so they're someone's, yeah. 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 So you are gaining pleasure from someone's death. Yeah, they don't own themselves. They are by definition. Slaves, I don't get paid, we yeah. gain from them. Yeah. Yeah, no, so... I'd so do you think taste justifies a holocaust of animals? Um, no, I don't. But I think it will continue until we all die. <laughs> so it's still going to happen, hey? Yeah. Humans yeah. are always going to kill each other. So for the foreseeable future, until we start to run out of... And that starts with you. Things. That starts uh, with people like you. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know it does, but it's just... You know what, brother? I'll leave you there. This is a little vegan challenge on Facebook you can do for 22 days, and I appreciate like the conversation, bro. No worries. Thanks Cheers, for being mate. so honest, mate. Thank you. No worries, right. brother. I'm um, ex-BBC. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And I've, I've interviewed a lot of vegans who break down, literally break down under cross-questioning. Yeah. And I'm impressed you didn't break down.